approaching another housemate with the intention of causing physical discomfort or even harm will never be tolerated. For your behavior, Big Brother hereby issues you a strike. Two more strikes and you will be What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, we are just going to go straight into the point of the day. You guys, there was a lot of pandemonium like kata kata that happened last night and um, Beauty actually got physical with Ilebaye, which I knew that that would definitely um, end her a strike. Anyway guys, I could not make a video on that. That's because today is Sunday now. You know the, you know the dream. You know how it is. Anyway, that's not an excuse. But yeah, I brought the gist for you guys. It's actually, after the party and um, beauty could not stand the i don't know how it just happened but you just see beauty beauty started having like a confrontation with ilebaye try because maybe because she's feeling like ilebaye is the one is in support of um her guy groovy being all over chomzy and she could not stand it all of a sudden we just hear that there was a drama there was there, there, there was issue like beauty was literally trying to raise her hands on Ilebayem. My dear, if they were not in the house, Beauty for slap Ilebayem, no cap, like they would have fought. Like Beauty would have fought Ilebayem because to be really honest with you, as much as Beauty was ranting like that, when she started getting physical, Ilebayem wasn't talking. But what happened actually happened was, I think when she was really, really angry about the whole situation that actually happened, I felt like Ilebayem would have stood back or would have decided not to still go to meet her because Ilebaye was going to meet her, yes, but not because she was confronting her, but was just trying to tell her that I'm on your side, I'm not against you, calm down, it's not that deep. So Beauty was not even just having that. But it just shocked me, they surprised me, say Beauty will get to we get that far for a man she actually met just one week ago. Like I really, I really she really has to get a grip of herself because so her case doesn't turn out to be like that of Erica and Kidwire because she seems to be really really possessive. She seems to be like someone like if she if she likes you, if she even if she doesn't want to have you, she doesn't want someone else to have you. And worse still, if she has you, she doesn't even want anyone to come close to you. Anyway, guys, after the pandemonium last night, this evening, just before the live eviction, Big, Big Brother normally know how they do it, gathered them in the lounge, spoke to them about it, told Eliba Elebaye where her issues were, that she actually pushed beauty to the point she would have respected her boundaries and gave Elebaye a very strong warning and of course you know what would happen to beauty beauty was issued the first strike of the season two more strikes and she's disqualified from the game so guys moving on it was the live eviction show like i just feel like the house is becoming more interesting eh? Liva, I could just give them to big brother this season like they really tried in the housemate they picked because if they had made a mistake this season again i know she said this should this show would have lost it completely you get but they really tried the, the twists the turns everything they are actually doing was really amazing of course Ebuka came and replayed everything that happened throughout the week for us to see and all that but the most interesting part of what actually happened tonight was of course there's been speculation going on the internet maybe they mistakenly posted it on their instagram handle that they were expecting or they were going to put in more housemates into the show but well the only different or the only twist in that thing was the picture that was going around were six people in the pictures but actually they brought in just two people one in the level one house one in the trench house guess what guys the first housemate that actually came into the house his name is deji and he was sent into the level one house which is the house we, we all call the highland house you guys deji said well let me tell you what she said what he said because i don't want to miss my word he said He's coming into the house to be a fuck boy, to be a playboy, to be a lover boy, and anything you are expecting, like we should expect more from him. So why are you bringing up? Why are you bringing up to a show like this? And people are like, just quite you know, intense. There's a lot of hot personalities in there. Why are you bringing them in? Well, for me, I'm just gonna be as real as I get. Spontaneous, unpredictable, lover boy, fuck boy. 
Like person with a complicated relationship, what is he saying go do? He's just coming there to scatter ships or he's just coming there to cause confusion. He's just coming there to uh, see eh, the vibe he came out with, the vibe he came out with, with his zip down and uh, uh. see. Voila. Wow. I don't bring a shower come house. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> It's your six months. <laughs> it's working perfectly. It's alright. The guy was asking him, "Where my ass zip something face?" I beg your zip spoil or waiting happen, and he was like, "No, that is just swag." He tried to zip it up, and he told him, "No, no, no, no worry, no worry." I guess what, guys? When he walked into the house, he started kissing the female housemates on their hands. <laughs> You guys, hey, let's all watch out for Deji because Deji is about to set the BB Niger level one house on fire because we are watching out for um Donyi. I hope uh, Donyi will not start, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Everybody's eyes lit up when she he walked in, even though they were all snobbish and they shy looked as if they didn't want to greet him or what. But the style, the swag, everything he just came with with the kissing of the female housemate's hand. I, I'm sure he just threw everybody off balance. And let's just see how everything unfolds. And of course, they invited the second housemate that was supposed to go to the level two house, and her name is Modela. <laughs> Let's say you've never win before. Now let's get you walk out. Now trash is she they go like this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Modela says she's the content queen the house needs. That anything that has to do with content, when I never hear before, now she they come to give on her. And every guy was like, a lot of people have been saying that they, they, they are coming to give us content, they are coming to do this, they are coming to do that. Hope say, so, you know, we'll come fall our hand. And she was like, make on they watch out, they see. Of course, at the end, Ebuka was telling us that we should watch out for these two housemates that just got into the house. Maybe it feels like they entered for a mission. I, I don't know, but the way Buka was sounding, it sounded like let's watch out for them because they will have a lot of duties to perform for Big Brother or something of sort. I don't understand. But of course, when Modela walked in, everybody was just staring. Like you see the shock in the eyes of the housemates, and they are like, wow, what's going on? Like, who is this? And she Walked in and said she's a new housemate and all that, even though they were all surprised, yes. She just walked and maybe was just giving and was giving them like a hug and all that. All of us know for inside of our mind because of say they know say this way new housemate don't enter. Definitely, definitely. There is more drama that is coming in, and the game just began. Trust me, guys, the game just began. So you guys just tune in for tomorrow because tomorrow is the head of house games and the nomination the proper nomination will happen tomorrow and i will be here to bring you people any gist that comes up between now and tomorrow and if it doesn't i'll also bring you tomorrow's um gist thanks so much for watching i'll definitely see you in my next one let us all be watching because our eyes are on this house mates and we are not sleeping even though the running back and forth is exhausting but what can we do we enjoy doing what we are doing right Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.